Welcome to HSC Economics Made Easy. Today we're going to cover a topic called Dutch disease. Students may come across this concept when learning about the influences on box in the current account. In my previous videos about the influences on the current account, we learned that there are two types. Cyclical influences are more short-term in nature, whereas structural influences are more ongoing factors. The way I see it, Dutch disease is a cyclical influence that has structural impacts. Allow me to explain. Let's simplify the Australian economy to only having two exporting industries, mining and car manufacturing. If there was a sudden increase in demand for mining exports, the mining industry would grow, but the Aussie dollar would also appreciate. This leads to other industries losing international competitiveness. From the foreigner's perspective, Australian cars are now too expensive, so they stop buying it. This leads to the decline and eventual closure of the car manufacturing industry. This mining boom doesn't last forever, so it eventually comes back down. So we're back to square one, minus a car manufacturing industry. It's narrowed our export base. That's why we call it a disease. You might have guessed, this example is based on real life example. In the mid 2010s, Holden and Toyota announced that they would cease manufacturing in Australia. They were making losses for a few years in a row and these were the years that the second mining boom caused the Aussie dollar to appreciate so much that it overtook the US dollar. Indeed, the strong Australian dollar was one of the reasons cited by the car manufacturers for the departure. Earlier, I said that Dutch disease is a cyclical influence with structural impacts. While the cause being a high export demand and an appreciated dollar is cyclical. The impact being a narrow export base, that is a structural impact. So I hope you get what I mean now. Dutch disease isn't the end of this story of structural change though. Let's continue to look at the Australian example for more depth. Like I explained, this mining boom that caused Dutch disease won't last forever. When it comes back down, so does the Aussie dollar, improving our international competitiveness again. This gives us an opportunity for newer export industries to grow. In Australia's case, as the dollar fell back down, we saw growth in a whole range of exporting industries, particularly in services, which are high value added industries, so that's good news. Dutch disease could facilitate structural change, which improves allocative efficiency in the long term. So it's not all gloom and doom. So I hope I've not only made Dutch disease easier for you to understand, but also extended your understanding of structural change and box. If this video has helped you, please leave a like and comment, and don't forget to subscribe and share as well. And I look forward to continuing to make economics easy for you.